¿Ser claro o estar claro? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Now you see, many of my students face this problem of finding out whether claro should be used with ser or with estar. Here you need to understand that the answer to this question lies in the basic difference between ser and estar. Remember, doctor versus place. So, ser is used to talk about an intrinsic or an inherent quality or a characteristic of a person or a thing. Por ejemplo, ella es una persona clara. She is a very clear or a straightforward person. Su piel es clara. His or her skin is fair. Las teorías de matemáticas son claras. The theories of mathematics are clear or straightforward. Well, that may not be the case though. So you see, in all these examples that I have given, ser is used with claro or clara as an adjective to talk about the inherent characteristic of the person or of the thing that we are talking about. It is part of the doctor for ser. On the other hand, estar claro refers to the fact that whether someone has understood something or not, whether that thing is clear in his or her head or not. Por ejemplo, hemos terminado la lección. ¿Está claro todo? We have finished the lesson. Is it clear to everyone? Has everyone understood this? El cielo está claro. The sky is clear, as in the sky has no clouds. So we see here, estar with claro is used to talk about something being clear in the head, something that has been understood by the person or not. Or, as we saw in the second example, where something is clear in terms of no other thing or object being there, as in the sky is clear, there are no clouds. So my question to you, el concepto de ser claro y estar claro es un concepto claro, pero ¿estáis claros? <laughs>